Charles Darwin, 1809 through 1882. Charles Darwin is the greatest scientist in the field of natural science. He was one of the first to come to the conclusion and substantiate the idea that all types of living organisms evolved over time from common ancestors. In his book, The Origin of Species, Darwin defined natural selection as the main mechanism and driving force of evolution. He later developed the theory of sexual selection. He made one of the first generalizing studies about the origin of man. Important Years in the Life of Charles Darwin 1809 – Born on the 12th of February in Shrewsbury 1818 – Went to Dr. Butler's boarding school 1825 – He studied medicine at the University of Edinburgh 1828 – Entered the Christ's College at Cambridge 1831 – Traveled on the ship HMS Beagle 1833, discovered prehistoric fossils on the coast of Argentina. 1835, arrived at the Galapagos Islands. 1836, returned back to England. 1837, began his research on the evolution of species. 1839, published The Voyage of the Beagle. 1842, moved to Kent. 1844, began to write his Theory of Evolution. 1856, started working on The Origin of Species. 1858, the discoveries of Darwin and Wallace became known to the public. 1859, published The Origin of Species. 1860, controversy over the origin of species. 1862, published his work on insects and orchids. 1871, published The Descent of Man and Selection in Relation to Sex. 1881, published The Formation of Vegetable Mold Through the Action of Worms. 1882, died on the 19th of April in Down. Even as a child, Darwin loved to observe animals in the water and the forest and later, at university, he took up the study of the natural sciences. Before that, like his grandfather and father, who were famous doctors, he attended Dr. Butler's boarding school. But unlike them, he received satisfactory grades, which led both his teachers and family to believe that his intellectual abilities were below average. He did not hate learning, but he was not interested in the poems of Homer, in ancient philosophy or history but was rather attracted by the natural sciences that were not taught in school. He enjoyed watching birds and animals, as well as collecting insects and minerals. Recognizing the fact that his son would not benefit from a boarding school education, his father sent him to Edinburgh University to study medicine. Charles was then 16 years old. However, he soon faced the tedium of lectures and exercises. He stopped attending lectures and spent his time discussing natural sciences with his colleagues. Worried about his son, who had given up his career as a medic, his father advised him to become a priest. That is why he went to Cambridge University, where he studied theology. However, unable to suppress his love of nature, he dreamed of exploring an area with many new and interesting species, and began making plans for a trip to the island of Tenerife. His plans did not materialize, but his desire to undertake such an adventurous journey became known at the university, which later provided him with the most spectacular opportunity of his life. When he received an invitation as a young naturalist and biologist to become part of a group of scientists on board the HMS Beagle, who would make detailed surveys and mapping of the coasts of Patagonia, Chile, and Peru, Darwin immediately agreed. The Beagle sailed from Devonport on the 27th of December, 1831, and returned to England in October, 1836, on a voyage of discovery around the world. The ship circumnavigated the South American coast, explored the isolated Galapagos Islands, and visited others in the Pacific, Indian, and South Atlantic Oceans. During this long journey, 
Darwin saw with his own eyes natural wonders, visited primitive tribes, discovered many fossils, and observed even more plants and animal species. He made detailed notes on everything he saw, and they became the basis of almost all his works. From them, he derived many of his basic ideas and a wealth of data that enabled him to enforce his theories. In the following years, he published a number of books that established him as one of England's most prominent biologists. He was convinced that animal and plant species were not immutable, but evolved along with geological history, but he sought the cause of such evolution. An essay by Thomas Malthus gave him the key to understanding that natural selection was the result of the struggle for survival. He formulated the principle of natural selection, but for a long time he collected evidence and arranged his arguments. When he finally published his scientific work, The Origin of Species, he caused an unprecedented uproar. There was no other scientific work that was discussed so widely and passionately by scientists and ordinary citizens. The controversy continued for more than a decade until Darwin published The Descent of Man and Selection in Relation to Sex. This book, in which the thesis that man was descended from ape-like creatures was advocated, added fuel to the fire of the still unceasing arguments. Darwin himself did not personally participate in the public debates on his theories. His health had been poor since the Beagle voyage, suffering from an illness caused by insect bites. By the time Darwin died, a very large number of scientists had already accepted his theories as correct. Darwin was not the originator of the theory of the evolution of species. Many scientists advocated it before him, including the French naturalist Lamarck. But their hypotheses were not accepted by the scientific world because none of them were able to provide convincing evidence of how evolution took place. Darwin's great merit was that he not only explained the mechanism of natural selection, but also presented numerous convincing evidences in support of his ideas. Darwin's influence on human thought was enormous. In strictly scientific terms, he introduced fundamental changes in biology. Natural selection was a truly comprehensive principle, and attempts were made to apply it to many other fields – anthropology, sociology, political science, and economics. The success of evolutionary theory as an explanation for the origin of man greatly strengthened the belief that science was capable of finding answers to all questions. Life Wisdom from Charles Darwin a discoverer is a person who always wants to learn the origin of any phenomenon. A man who dares to waste one hour of time has not discovered the value of life. An American monkey, after getting drunk on brandy, would never touch it again, and thus is much wiser than most men. The love for all living creatures is the most noble attribute of a man. It is not the strongest of the species that survives, not the most intelligent that survives. It is the one that is the most adaptable to change. Wait, we've got more for you. First, hit the subscribe button so we can deliver more cool videos to you. Now, on the right side is the next video from our list. In the middle, you'll see a completely different story about secrets, mysteries, and controversies. On the left side, you'll see the previous video from our list.